Oh no, I kid you not. Look there. There's actually smoke coming out of this TV. My TV literally just exploded. Ah, oh, mm, that's that heady smell of TV smoke. Wow, that was a seriously scary bang just came out of that. I think that's the end of my playing for today. Hey guys, and welcome to Back of This Teardown Lab. I was literally making another video and the CRT TV I was using actually exploded. And unfortunately that wasn't on tape, but I did manage to video a bit of the smoke coming out of it. It absolutely stank and of course scared the life out of me. So I dismantled the TV. It's sitting on the kitchen table right now because I identified what appears to be the broken component and it seems to be on part of this board right here which is some sort of, uh, oh I don't know what you'd call this, is this a power conditioning board? Um, you've got the power coming in, mains power coming in and then you have two pins going out to the rest of the, the unit and it just appears to be going via there's some reefers, ah oh, the reefer, it's always bloody reefer isn't it? Uh, it looks like the reefer basically has blown up. Don't fear the reefer. Um, and as such, we can replace it again. I'm not entirely sure what this board does, but as TVs do need mains power, I'd expect mains power in, mains power out, but just cleaned and conditioned, something like that. If you do know what this does, okay, please comment down below. Um, as for my knowledge, I think all I need to do is to replace the reefer. So we're gonna have a go at extracting this um, because we need to see really the values and stuff on it. But also uh, we need to see if any of the surrounding components are popped. Now I think if I'm lucky I do have some old power supplies knocking around and I might just have something that will fit in there. Again I think the TV was actually still running. You know it's a bit like the BBC mic because I think when these caps go um, it doesn't take out the device totally. It's obviously so it's there for cleaning up the signal, so it doesn't mean it won't work without it. <laughs> my Oh no, I've torn my solder sucker silicone. Don't worry about that. I've got spare tube. Let's get that on there. Very handy. I might have to look for some more of this though. I do go through it quite a lot. I do have my soldering iron set to pretty damn hot. Hotter than silicone likes. Let's resume and try again. It's nice to keep these holes clean for when we approach this again. It does look like it's dual footprinted actually for longer capacitor. So that's handy if we can't find an exact match. And that is sucking so much better. More suction, more fun. Right, that's clean, ready to go. Let's have a look at that reefer then. Ooh, 100 nanofarads. Yeah. And it's just basically blown out exactly the same way as it does on the BBC Micro, really. It really is. Let me have a look in my box of tricks. 275 volts. We need all the volts, though. We've got a likely looking fellow here. I can't quite read what it is, so I'm just going to extract that in the same way. This is an old PC power supply. If you have any old PC power supplies, hang on to them because they are absolute treasure trove for power electronics. And of course, because most things are working on the same voltages, of course, 240 volts, then it's going to be the same type of part. So really worth your while. I'm not chucking those out just yet. And that is loose. Fortunately, let's see if we can get a little screwdriver or something in there just to poke it out. Come on, Oop. don't break it. <laughs> I've chipped some of the casing, but it should be okay. Hopefully, that's going to be the value we need. Let me apply some heat on the bottom while I do this. Oh no, it's coming. Oh no, 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 no. So this is a Tipo, Tipo Cheapo. Um, it does have the same markings, the 250 volts there, the 270 volt, 275 volt AC, which is the same that we get on there. And it also actually has the X2 in the corner, which is good, but we can't see the rating. It's a nanofarad rating. So I'm hoping it will be picked up on my testing gadget. So I'm gonna pop that in there. Should still have some batteries. I know we haven't used it for a while. 
Oh, and it's really maxing out that pin spacing. Come on. We'll get it. If I hold it, let's see what happens. More jiggery pokery needed. And as it's tested to 98 nanofarads, I think that's close enough to 100. So that part is going to be totally usable. So we're just going to go straight in and swap it out. And we can just get on with our lives. That's what we want to do. And there is a bit of charring actually on this component behind it. I'm going to give it a little bit of a gentle clean just to check. Yeah, it's just come off that other one. It's not actually gone into there. In fact, we could still even read what that is. So that's absolutely fine. A 0.8 amp something. <laughs> and we're going to pop that in. And it's a good time now to also check the onboard fuse. The onboard fuse has not blown. It didn't take out the fuse. Again, as I said, I'm pretty sure that the TV was still on when this blew up. So I kind of panicked and had to go and pull the power lead. Uh, while the room was filling up with stinky smoke, so it was it's a, it was scarier than it actually was. But again, you don't want to set your lounger on fire. And I'm just applying the last bit of solder to this, giving it a nice good dose. And I'm going to recheck that last joint. That's perfection, and I think that's going to do us proud. I'm going to pop it all back in and uh, very happy to say I've saved that TV. I suspect that this uh, other reefer will be the next one to go. I mean, you know, like a bus, they uh, you, it runs for ages and you're waiting for ages and then uh, loads of failures all happen at once. I do like this little case it all comes in there. That's all very sophisticated. That'll do. That'll do, pig. There you go. How to replace a blown capacitor in a blown up telly. Thank you for watching. As you can see, this is a ZX Spectrum Plus 2 all plugged in again.